everybody doing tonight? Yo, what up? It's J Mo. This is episode 19, 141 podcast, and we're back in the building today. We got the motherfucking favorite, okay? We got the second favorite, okay? Hey, you heard and that. It is what it is. You heard who was second and who was first, though. Hey, people love oh. being on the pod. They want more of you on the pod. <laughs> hey, I'm here, dog. They do. Yeah. I think it's because you watch so many podcasts, though. Like, have you thought about that? He watches so many podcasts. He's good. Yeah. He's like, yeah. You're and naturally good on people the People love. I do it too, though. I do yeah, it too. I got that from you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did not watch as many podcasts. People love a that. redemption story. <laughs> <laughs> and every redemption story starts with a fall off. But yeah. that's a story for a whole another podcast. Could you do me a huge favor? Reach right over there and grab that uh, white candle right there. That? Because you know today, yeah, hey, that looks real nice. Like looks that. real, real nice. You can move yeah. it or roll around into yeah. it with a little bendy. This week's candle, as you guys may know, may or may not know, is Fruit Loops. Go check out Enlightenment Candles. Hey. And Enlightenment Candles and Company. Let me smell that mug. For all your candles and your wax melts and all your candle needs, you haven't got a whiff of that one, have you, yet? That's the first whiff. First whiff, and it yeah, smells look, 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 so gas. Milk. Cereal. Uh, it's like it. like yeah. you walked out the other day with a cup, cup full of, of cereal. cereal. That oh, see, I was totally expecting you to be like, "Yeah, no shit, that's what it is." But you didn't get it, so all right, right on. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was a fucking candle. Yeah. Like okay. I said, Enlightenment Candles and Company. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Go to their Facebook page right now. For <laughs> no, 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 D-crotch. 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 You're close. You're close. It's D-crotch. almost better. D-crotch. Dick, Dick crotch. Dick crotch is crazy. Well, they don't know what the D means. So, it's yeah. Deputy but. Darren Dangle <laughs> Crouch. Deputy Demarcus Crouch. Deputy Dangle Crotch is fucking crazy. Bro. Dangle Crotch is a wild one. I'm going to pop a Xenex, boys. Oh. Yes. Whoa. A Xenex. <laughs> <laughs> These are the yellow Xenex, the school buses. <laughs> yeah, we have to say Xenex because we're not sponsored by him yet. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been on, dog? What's up with you? Man, not a whole lot. Just making a lot of stickers lately. Been working my sticker man. Working my tuchus off. Hit him up for your stickers, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Stickers. I got three by three inch custom stickers, 120 bucks for 300 of them. You see, I mean, it's not when you bad. get to that I age, you just you're start chilling, bro. Yeah, when you just hey, kick oh, back hang in on. your job. Hang on, you let's... just focus on your pension. And... <laughs> <laughs> just been a family man lately. No family, but a man can dream. <laughs> just been a family lately. <laughs> <laughs> just been a family. I mean, if you consider a family man because I live with my mom, <laughs> then yeah, I'm a family man. <laughs> my mom's family. Fuck yeah. You and Mama Dukes go off a of family plan. Just the bars. chore list on the bars. refrigerator. Doing the things only a family can. Chores on a refri- refrigerator is crazy. <laughs> Leaving them out for him to do. <laughs> Mom, I did all my chores. Where's my allowance? Bro, that was probably That's not enough. Inflation's crazy. Come on. You you don't accept your allowance because inflation. Yeah, is yeah, I'm, I'm up charging. Did you guys uh, listen to the outro skit on Midnight Oil, all the voicemails? Yes. Bro, I was, yeah, I you guys did a good job that. on that, too. My that favorite awesome. one was my mom. Like, we were sitting there like, how do we end it, though? Because it's going to be like the last thing heard. And fucking uh, Chris Conte, the dude that's on Gravedigger, he was there and he was like, uh, bro, you got to call your mom. And it was funny. You don't even bro, know my mom. But mom. my mom is like one of the funniest people on planet Earth. So that was fucking... That shit, we was, I, what I just said, like, reminded me of something. Because that's what she said. And the truck, you forgot to do your fucking chores. <laughs> <laughs> In the voicemail, she, she was did. like, she said Midnight Oil like it was dope. She was like, quit <laughs> doing that Midnight Oil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I was wondering that too because she said it and she didn't say it like you were recording music in the studio. She said like, like quit was... doing that midnight oil stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that uh, stuff is, you guys have been doing nowadays. Burning midnight. I heard, heard you've been up there doing them sniffing salts. <laughs> <laughs> bro, speaking of which, I don't know if you've talked about it on a pod yet, though, but let's talk about that, bro. When your fucking Ooh. eyeball popped out of your I mean, head. I felt like Glenn off The Walking Dead. Oh, thank God that wasn't open. Crazy. Glenn off The Walking Dead. Yeah, my eye, <laughs> it's my wild, eye popped out. bro. Glenn no, off the Walking Dead. No, I've seen I've seen so many people like they did it on Joe Rogan, and I've seen a bunch of different podcasts where they're just like, "Yeah, bro, try these smelling salts." And I always wanted to do it just just to see, you know, like how crazy it was. What's it I smell like? I didn't realize I that you're that. supposed to hold the jar, you know, down here away from your nose. Yes, yeah, I. Pungent. It's on my reels on my Facebook. You went in. I was, I mean, if this is the bottle, my nose was was here. It was like God. a centimeter from touching the bottle. You <laughs> hit that and shit like Tim I went, <laughs> went crazy. And, oh, immediately the entire back right quadrant of my skull felt like it disintegrated. Felt like it was just flesh, no more bone. It was just burning through. It was horrible. It was not good. My eyes were watering for what is the point? Minutes what least. is the point of small well, bodybuilders and football? The point players, is not to yeah. put your nose six inches away from the actual stuff. It's supposed to just get a little, and it just. It, it's such a sharp. I don't know how to describe because I don't really know how. It's what, like open your airway. Is it for That's focus? Like, it's, it's it's supposed to, it closed mine because it was so abrasive. Like it was so. I was so close to your it. Your body reacted. Is it supposed yeah. to give you energy, focus? Like what is it? It's just like uh, to wake you up. It's like if, if someone like gets knocked pneumonia. out. Or it's like uh, cocaine. Yeah, pneumonia. kind of. It's like if someone gets knocked out, you put it under, and it's just it's such a pungent. And oh, like fucking chemical, it's like a chemical burn smell. Like you, when I, I was so close to it, it felt like I literally was, I took this and inhaled the flame. <laughs> like it's what it felt like. Jesus. But it's not supposed to feel, like I said, I did it way wrong just right. to be funny. You're supposed it, to just it was hold not it down funny. here and do a little. Yeah, but it's just, it's like a, oh, and it just gets you like, oh. Okay, is the closest yeah. thing, if you can't explain it, you think the closest thing to it is that very spicy cocktail sauce, the St. Elmo's? I mean, I could describe something that it's a lot closer to, but we're going to keep this PG. Yeah, St. Elmo's cocktail sauce. <laughs> He's talking about meth. <laughs> <laughs> they both burn. They I wouldn't know. know. I've heard from He's a friend. About it's crazy when you do a, some bath salts or whatever, you're fucking sniffing salts. <laughs> they have to do totally different things. <laughs> Two bath salts and smelling salts. Totally whatever different. he did. <laughs> it's I've like, never done bath salts. Surprisingly, I've never done bath salts. This guy's an animal, so. He's like, it's like everything it's like Ventura, he connects Ventura everything Glenn. in his head through like some sort of war story. You? <laughs> You're like Ace Ventura of drugs. <laughs> of drugs. That's why I was gonna say like everything in his head connects. Like he Ace does his meth detective. It's mathematics. <laughs> he does <laughs> math. <laughs> Instead of math, stop it right now. Stop it right the mathematics, fuck now. Meth max, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fucking spraying, spraying, fucking. <laughs> Sulfur hexafluoride right in his gun. <laughs> Doing Craculus. Oh my Craculus God. is crazy. Yo, imagine being on that med. Wow. Meth Max. In the Meth Max Imagine being in the Meth Max movie. The cars run off butane. Icy Road. I don't know what I want. Icy Road on. Meth Max Icy Road is crazy. <laughs> it's a, a Mad Max movie. Or flurry mixed road. in. <laughs> mixed. Flurry Road with a meth flurry. <laughs> you guys seen that new, that new Oppenheimer? <laughs> that will be right back. What's funny is that movie does look like they're all on meth because it's dooms that like into the world type shit. That clip they you showed all... me was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. That's how they hype themselves up, bro. That's like their <laughs> sniffing their songs. Teeth silver. That's the same thing as their sniffing songs. <laughs> yeah. bro, that's crazy. Fucking you know what I just watched the other night, like all the way through. I haven't seen since I was in middle school. Porn. Met the Maze Runner. I've never seen that. What? You never seen the Maze Runner? Oh, no. I thought you said something else. Have you ever seen Mace. it? Mace. I thought you said Mace. The Maze, the Maze Runner, Runner? <laughs> with Dylan O'Brien. You don't like fire. it? No, it's fire. I just watched it. Yeah, because this historically has always meant bad. <laughs> <laughs> Maze Runner. Oh, you don't like it? <laughs> Dude. I don't, have all, I don't have all the knowledge and wisdom. Fucking you awful. Do. You don't like it? You give it two thumbs up? 
I don't have all the wisdom nah, you do, bro. I didn't watch fucking Babe Ruth. Come I'm not up. a 47 year old all? sage. I'm about to go watch the Scorch Straws on nah, whatever it's on right for the first time. Super good. Is there any more after that? I think they only made two. Okay, I wait. Now, it is Maze Runner. Like, I know it says it in the title, but they're in a maze, right? They're, it's so like big-ass like, yeah, monsters like and big shit. Ass, it, Do they just get dropped there on some, like, Hunger so Games type shit? It no, they don't. Dark, and once it gets dark, like, the monsters come out and shit, and they'll kill them. I can't remember. So, the so I'm, so getting, I'm getting opens uh, and closes. flashbacks. Hunger Games and Maze Runner mixed up. It's yeah, kind of, but it's kind of the same. So it's it, like in the... There's a company that kind of runs the world like fucking, like, Hunger, uh, Games. Uh, Hunger Games type shit, right? Yeah. But they... they drugged everybody and got rid of their memory you can only remember your name and then they sent them up this tube and it puts you in this little like valley this little like little tree box. valley that's in the middle of the maze what? the square in the piece middle. in the middle of the maze you know like there's a maze and you're trying to get to the middle well they're in the middle they're trying to get out right but the maze only opens up during the day at the night that's when the monsters and shit come out and the the doors close so if you go in the maze and you don't get out before the end of the day you're stuck in it at night and before like the main character yeah, shows up no like one has ever made it through a night and then he survives a night he and he kills the end. first monster gets him to the end blah blah blah, blah, blah. super good but then the next one's called like the scorch trials and it's like zombie apocalyptic kind of deal like in the desert you get like, infected and like, yeah all kinds of shit speaking of zombies Shit, bro. I love zombies, bro. Bro, we me and you've been talking about it like Speaking fucking of crazy. Zombie shit, you seen that fucking movie? I think we watched Which it together, one? maybe. Uh with Batista in it. It was on Netflix. I do it was know like what you're talking about. In Vegas where Batista was killing zombies and shit. I can't remember what the fuck. I can't remember what it's called, but I know what you're movie? talking about. We it was on we Netflix for, ten times, but you know. Can, my, can my we admit that he's like the fucking? Pudding, so. He's like the actual good version of Vin Diesel, Batista. I don't in think movies, he's a bad actor movie. at all. Did I don't think he's a bad on. actor at all. Yeah, no, not he at all. On. He just he's too big. He's like all. fucking. Didn't he? He played in. Uh, <laughs> To even he was in, him and Vin Diesel. That's odd. We. I mean, let's. We're about to step outside, bro. Vin Diesel's a good actor. Family. I'm looking it up right now. Vin Diesel is the greatest funny. actor of our generation. <laughs> Army of the Dead. My Neuralink taking over. Chat GPT. Army of the Dead is what it's called. Just pitch black. <laughs> Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead is what you're talking Army, about. Army, you've seen that? Yes. It's fire. Yeah, very good. Army of the Dead, fire. You That's know what really geez, scares bro. me, though? And But those movies like kind of give you like a fucking... In like The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead makes me feel like I can survive this shit. Like What's I'm the walking I'm going to be Rick Grimes. Bro. I am What's fucking the walking Rick. Dead? I'm going to be that bro, dude. For real, or I'm going to be fucking... But listen, the one that I'm like, I cannot win and we're never going to win and survive is World War Z. Dude, that one's crazy. Oh, yeah. Fuck that. I've always dude, said... Running always zombies said zombie is not good, bro. Bro. A zombie apocalypse, Mm-mm. I could survive. I feel like we could survive and thrive and have a blast, to be honest, in a zombie apocalypse if it was some, like you said, Walking Dead or some like zombie land shit where they're just... Uh, as yeah. soon as you add some Left for Dead sprinting Running, zombies or climbing up got a tentacle shooting out of their mouth and grabbing you, that... How do you get all oh, so many shots? Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? Oh, I thought she was this right up in the a, She loves the chair. <laughs> the yeah, she got to go. For sure. Ivy, Ivy's going to go. Because that shit is so unstable oh, right yeah, there. She's wobbling it. Here, I'll grab her. Watch out. Get her out. Take her to the nether room. Boom. Grab her. No, she will get right back up there. Yes. Get her out. Get her out. In the yard. Bro, I used to have to turn the fucking TV off when those fucking commercials of dogs and did it make you cry? Come. Yeah, like dude. almost would, bro. Made you sad. Cried like so heart. sad, I had to turn the fucking TV yeah, off. Turn me on for some reason. That's why I had to turn we know you were crying. <laughs> For I had real. to turn them off for totally different reasons. I know exactly what type <laughs> of kid. Oh, oh my God. God. Gosh, bro. I know exactly what type of kid you were, Trey. <laughs> can, we, can we make bets? Because I feel like everybody knows exactly what Wait, uh, that, I who, seen me? a video. I've seen a video of him dancing in this to house. To Michael Jackson. 
Oh, when he, his mom came out, I'm so glad none of the boys were here but me. You know what I mean? And just <laughs> none of y'all had to see this. You seen some old home video footage? Yeah, Trey with Bro. like a Michael. J- <laughs> <laughs> like, I, was I was getting it. Like, I had, I had the outfit on. He let his fucking arm go like a chameleon's tongue. Fucking. <laughs> 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 it was hilarious. And then the whole time, his mom is just like. Get it, son. <laughs> That's right. my boy. Yeah, Trey. That's my boy. Dance like fucking shit, Trey. You're gonna run Dance a studio like in a garage one day. Look at you. Wait, why am I doing a Michael Jackson impression as your mom? Look at you. You're gonna. No, he's gonna Michael wanna... Jackson. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was just doing her voice as Michael Jackson. Trey. That's my son. Definitely grew up with no, the blanket. same personality as the kid from Big Daddy, the Adam Sandler Trey movie, Jackson. the little kid in that. <laughs> Oh shit! What, so a little soft ass bitch? No, just scuba oh, Steve uh, ass oh, boy. Sorry, Trey. <laughs> hey, I, 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 I was asking if that's what he meant. I didn't say I meant that. Boy came up fruity. Boy came up. Fruity. Wow. Did you? What? <laughs> Bro knows how to yo yo. What do you think? Yeah, yo, hey, yo, hold on. yo. We don't be hating right. on my yo yo skills, bro. I will whoop yo-yo. your ass in yo yo, oh, bro. I think yeah, that's first of all, you definitely knew how to yo yo when oh, yeah, you were a kid. Nah, I will. No, I will yo yo circles around you. Oh, I'm sure you brought will. up a yo yo literally the other day. around the world, circles around <laughs> yeah. me. And Trey immediately hopped on, just was like, I know everything. <laughs> yeah, he started name dropping brands and techniques. I was like, oh, bro, bro knows what he's talking about. It was almost like he was like. Fucking gay or something. I used to be Bro. a magic kid. Fuck you. <laughs> no, like a magician. Oh, Matt, me too, bro. I'll blow your oh, mind right now. Yeah, I was about to say, we all were the magic kid, right? I was, Bro. I had the I right illusionist.com. There, sure. there was a YouTuber. What was it? Illusionist.com. Do you remember? No, mine was the uh, the magic penguin or whatever. Oh, okay. I think you, I remember you that. You know what I'm talking about? I think so. I used to go in there and buy fake thumbs in the in the clear glass deck of cards so you can put you can make it disappear in the yeah, water yeah, to just yeah, the person's yeah. cord. Bro, that's nothing. I had mind freak kids. Oh, I had mind freak. I had three <laughs> of them, bro. Yes, I did. You didn't have any mind freak. Kids. <laughs> yes, I did. No, you bro. didn't. Because mind freak mind came out, freak. you were like four. I know, but I when I grew up, I felt <laughs> there's we, no we way. David him. Blaine. We got to go through mind freak. He did. No, it wasn't mind freak. It was the Chris Angel shit. Yeah, Chris Angel mind, mind freak. freak. Yeah, okay. Freak. You said David easy. Blaine, so no, I didn't know. David Blaine. I didn't know if it was a different David thing Blaine or whatever. Was <laughs> yeah, David Blaine but yeah, when you when you open the fucking case and it's got all the fucking. Uh, no, but I used to love that shit, bro. And what I what I was really good, I was like the sleight of hand thing. So I did a bunch of rubber band tricks and like used to fake them a lot. I sucked at all that. Bro, shit. now that we're talking about magic tricks, there's a video of me changing my t shirt when I was like ten years old, like Fifty Cent on stage. <laughs> 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 Imagine Trug immediately where my brain went. Imagine Trug just did. He's like many men. <laughs> Where's that ball? He pissed off. <laughs> Ripping youth mediums off of him. Yo, that's hilarious. That's, that's so good. No, do you guys remember? Have you ever been to like? I remember. One of the few times I've seen it, it would be in places like Brown County or like Gatlinburg, places where they would have little like toy shops and shit like that that weren't yeah. just like your run of the mill, but they would have little magic shops that yes. would have yes. the yes. Dope Brown County magic, magic shops. Yeah, bro, I want to go to one of those now as an adult so bad, so bad. just yeah. to spend the money that I would have wanted to spend as a kid. Like now yeah. that I'm an adult with money, that's I've been like buying old comic books. I have and shit the, like that, like just because oh, I would have bought this as a kid, bro. I, I have the coolest now. collectible that ever came from Gatlinburg, Tennessee of all what time. Is it? Listen, I went with my friend when we were like 11 or two week vacation out to Gatlinburg, mm-hmm. and I went with a hundred dollars in my pocket, and I spent it all on it was I forget what year it was, but. That was the last year that they were making model cars of the General Lee with Confederate flags on the top. And I got a fucking, I got a signature from the original cop and the original Daisy Duke. Oh, that's crazy. Live in shop on the one of the last 100 of the cars, die cast cars ever made. Damn. Still Way got it in my closet. <laughs> my souvenir I brought back was just a piece of the mountain. I just grabbed. I was like, I'm taking this home with me, which I still thought was pretty cool. That like, is dope. But that's not near as cool as getting a General Lee sign. I got a bunch of, <laughs> I got dope. fucking into fucking that dope. oddity shit real hard. Like, I'm real just die cast cars, bro. I got the craziest collection. 
I feel like you got to wait all that time until the expo comes back around. Right. You know what I mean? I guess you can order shit. But I'll get back into it. When I, I got, got crazy. Room, yeah, no, that, that, that too. That too. The room is like, once I filled up that that, that cabinet. Cabinet, yeah. Bro, I got so much fucking cool shit. That's I got something under, you guys should come with us to next year. I mean, it's I got almost a, a year from We now. need to set up a booth. I know we could come up with enough shit to set up a booth yeah, together. To bro, I got die cast cars and Power Ranger shit galore, bro. Hell yeah. Well, you know what I'm talking about? You know what we're talking you know what we're about? Yeah, I remember you tried to get me to go to it. I just, yeah, I me and Rex go. went this year. Yeah. Yeah, that would be something the boys have got to go do together. We should like, go do that next year. I bought, I've got a half a shark in a jar. It's in a jar. It's like fucking this crazy shit, this bro. You never right see no shit like that. Spent forty bucks on it and got. Uh, it was it's so like dope. going to one big ass uh, science class. You know, back in science yes. class, they used to have like the snakes in the jars and yeah. shit. They had a crazy. baby puppy in a jar. It was like this big, but they said that they didn't kill it, that it was a stillborn, but it was still a baby puppy. Who buys yeah. that? Who buys it? Who buys God, that? That's exactly how you got your way, just like that with Linda, wasn't it? Whoa. What you just did. <laughs> he's left now. Look what you did. Dude, he's blackballed. Fuck you, guys. <laughs> He's blackballed. Dude, if you fucking just knock down the tripod, I swear to God, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. Um, we went to... Him. You guys... Did you guys ever go to World of Wheels? <laughs> what? World of Wheels, the big fucking I car did, show I convention can, type I shit? competed, quote unquote, in competed. one of those. Yeah, they won a little award in there. Bro, I went one year and met Edge. Like the rest WWE were? Edge, bro. Dude, if it ain't yeah, Sting, is. I don't know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't the crow. Sting. The crow. Who's your... Okay, someone asked me this at a, a party the other night. What's your top three wrestlers of all time, if you're into that? Mm. Undertaker. See, I'm Undertaker, not anymore. Undertaker. But three Undertakers. Uh, Undertaker, all three? All three all John three. Cena, my favorite the Undertaker. And, Undertaker uh, was just like all day. Nothing else. Love the Undertaker the wholeheartedly. You did John Cena, Undertaker, and Boogeyman is a crazy three. Hey, I'm See, not gonna lie, it my, tripped me out when Hornswoggle. I used was to always love. When yes, I love Hornswoggle. When he would eat the See, that was right around then, and like John Cena and shit was DX when I kind of stopped watching mine. I was big in the Attitude Era. So if I have to say top three, I mean Stone Cold Steve Austin is probably my favorite of all time. Like looking back, now, he's just come on now. Yeah, a lot of people say The Rock and Stone Cold. See, and The Rock favorite. was one of mine as a kid, but now it's like, nah. Well, now you, it's a like a lot of people say Stone Cold. Damn yeah, near. and it's like, I don't you know, think of it. When, when I look at Stone Cold talk now as an adult, and I, or when I hear him talk and when I hear The Rock talk, to me, what, I don't even know what, I can't even think of It's not Steve Austin. That's not his real, it's Steve something else. I don't know, can't remember what his last name is, but he just seems like a genuine person. Like Irwin. He, he seems, yeah, exactly. Steve Irwin, the wrestler. Stone Cold Steve Irwin. <laughs> Only, ma only match he ever lost was with like a stingray. <laughs> Yo. Well, no, I mean, it's got to be Stone Cold. I don't know. I loved X Pac as a kid. Oh, that's dope. And then we'll say Jeff Hardy. Fucking, J you can't go wrong with Jeff. Jeff Hardy. Hardy's Stinger. my number one. Jeff Hardy is okay. my number one. Remember him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sting. Sting. You're talking about. Is it Sting or Stinger? Sting. There's no Stinger that I know of. Sting, Sting. the white, Sting. white and black Sting. Sting. Yeah. like the crow. Yes, yeah. yeah. crow. Yes, that yep. was my, that was my guy. Do you remember Sting. playing the game? Oh, when you can pick oh, yeah. up the electrical pole and just fucking whack the shit out of boys. <laughs> Bro, one now of the I gotta greatest say, old games was them old Ninja Turtle games. I don't remember what I'm talking about? The old ass Ninja Turtle games, yes, bro. Where they had I the Rhino the and shit in them. Yes, oh, and yeah, you, you fucking. Like they had like on the arcade, yes, like the Super Nintendo yes, shit. Oh, yeah. Yes, bro. Yeah. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. You know what? Uh, the first video game I ever played was Nintendo 64 007. I used to play it with my sister all the time. Oh, I was so right with what was going to happen. <laughs> the very for, what's the very first I'll, I'll start start with you start with you start with you Kyle and it'll come back around to me the very first video game you ever remember not like even first that comes to mind it, like just like comes to mind video right now? game boom like video that's game. what's first you ever remembered I mean to be honest it's there's a few Sega Genesis titles that come to mind because that was my first console as a kid was a Sega Genesis but I'm, I'm probably Ghouls and Ghosts on Sega Genesis, or like Virtual Fighter or Sonic. Those are because those are like my three earliest memories of like the games I played a lot as a kid. Yeah. Oh no! I take that back. I take that back. 
Altered Beast Shit. on Sega Genesis. I can't believe I forgot to put that in there. So yeah, either Altered Beast or Ghouls and Ghosts. I never played that. Welcome to your doom. All my old heads will know exactly what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all these young bloods. They don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Dude, could you imagine playing Ghouls and Ghosts? Could you imagine growing up playing VR? Like imagine being a kid and that was what you like. I grew up on a Game Boy. That yeah, would be yeah, so crazy. dope. Being yeah. a kid and like you're taking the wear of I remember when a PSP came out. I remember when in the car. Yeah. Like, bro, I was in a whole the little, little mini disc. Yeah. I had to have a light on my Game Boy fine. to see the screen. Right. All right. What's yours? What's what your, you what's your, remember your first one? First one that comes to mind, bro, it's uh, Tom Clancy's uh, either, what's it called? Like Snake? Oh, or, uh, you know about Metal Gear Solid or Splinter Cell? Splinter Cell. Where it's like the, you have His like name is Snake, though, right? No, that's Metal Gear Solid, it's Snake. Is it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now Splinter Cell is the one with the dude. He had the the night, night vision. Yeah, yeah. I don't. John his name Clancy's. isn't Snake, but yes. that is yeah. That and or Splinter Crash Bandicoot. Cell was your fucking first Crash memory. Bandicoot. You were dancing Crash like Michael Bandicoot for a, a good long one. time before you were allowed to see a good controller, bro. When my. he's also younger than both of us, right? You're younger. How old are I'm you? Twenty five. You're twenty. You have like the same age. Damn, I thought for sure you were like. 22 at the most, bro. You just got a, you got a little young boy face. So little, Tom Clancy's like, Splinter Cell. <laughs> Tom, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. The f- that was just ones ones that uh, ran in my head. It's the uh, there's another one. I can't remember what, it, but it was like uh, Tom Clancy's one. Those were like my big time favorites. Number those were classic games. Top three for good. me would be. And as a kid, what I remember the most when you say video games and as a kid, what comes the most to mind? Number one is Sonic the Hedgehog. uh, PS2, Spider Man. Damn. Ooh. That's crazy how it is. That's a good one. And then Younger. which one? Spider Man Two. <coughs> I I think it was two. It's wherever, whatever one when you start on top of the building. Yes, I know. I exactly always started on about. top of a building and went Spider-Man into the building and was killing people. And then hang on. Detailed. Number two. Would be, and now this is a big age gap from that, but we had this gun game where you could shoot people on the mm-hmm. Wii. Yeah. I remember that a lot. And then it would be a tie between GameCube Sonic and the N64 007. Okay. And, but I mean, most prolific for my age, if I'm going to, if I, when I grow up, that answer is just going to be GTA 5. When I grow up, that answer will be GTA 5. Double, 007. I don't know. Golden Eye 007, 007 on the Gold, 64, is that what you're talking nah, about? That, I mean, that's like the original yes, multiplayer Golden shooter, bro. Da, da, da. Then going back to play that, bro. now that I'm used to playing with two thumbsticks, having to walk and aim with the same, same thumbstick that's is... Stupid. <sighs> What's yours, They Jamie? remade that game on the 360, but it was and it like... it was the same thing, right? Yeah, well, no, it was Modern Controls, where you played oh, it. It was gosh. made by Activision, so it was just Call of Duty reskinned with... The GoldenEye game. Like, you made your multiplayer classes. You chose a gun. You had three perks. You had your primary, secondary, frag, lethal, or tactical grenade. It was just literally GoldenEye, but perfect. And I don't know why they don't remaster that and bring it back. But I'm that. Oh, don't get me started. The very first game I can remember ever is the one where you're like an ape or a dragon or something. And you literally Super climb Monkey up Ball the, Jr. No, you climb up the side of the downtown buildings. And like we talked about this before. Come by. Rampage. Yeah, Rampage. Rampage. They made a movie off of it. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. It's like, a, it's like an old Super Nintendo game. That shit is the very first game I can ever remember, ever. Rampage? I don't think I Rampage. was also a big DS kid. Like, DS was my age. Oh, yeah. like, oh, my, my ga- the game system I got into the most ever was the GameCube. Mine was Game PSP. Cube. That was the first one I ever had. My brother All gave me All the Mario's GameCube. that came with the GameCube. All the Luigi Mansion shit on GameCube. Uh, fucking Metroid on GameCube, Medal of Honor, Frontline, Call of Duty, Big Fire. Red One. Do you remember that? Fire. I love both of those Dude, where you got games. to like storm the beaches of Normandy. Yes. Love those games. When you're on the boat and everybody's just oh, looking yeah. at looking at you, you got guys that Man, are throwing up and shit. Patterson. And when you're a kid, yes, you've never bro. experienced and you're nothing like, like that oh before. Oh my God. I'm, I'm about to, and you literally Where's watch them Bangalore? all die. You literally watch <laughs> them all die. Literally door comes that shit down. That is crazy. You, they, you jump over and everybody's just getting shot underwater. Do you remember playing Gauntlet Legends? Oh, yeah. Oh, my oh, yeah. God. Okay, number one if we question. we have a game like that right now. Bro, I mean, that's, I, that's what I'm saying, bro. Or even like the same you kind of game. You guys remember Gauntlet? 
Or uh-uh. like, okay, did you ever play Marvel what? Ultimate Alliance? Any of those where it's it's top down, four people playing, you could be one of the different Marvel heroes and you're just fighting a bunch of enemies, but it's for like a top down view like Diablo. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that's the same shit. They need to bring something like that back. Here's we've a real got question. Diablo, but it's not quite the same. If we were going into Dave and Buster's right now, what's the first thing you're playing? Uh, the bar menu. That's Never the first game I'm playing. Into David Buster's. But you know what I'm saying, like an arcade like that, bro. What's like oh, what's a fun like arcade that? game? Like if you go in, if you're trying to win tickets, what's a game you? My, yeah, my favorite all, one. On? Wait, my favorite one was always that stupid ass Alien versus Predator one that everybody knows. That old AVP Alien mm-hmm. versus oh, Predator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That'd be it. Yeah. I don't know, if I'm trying to win, if I'm trying to win tickets, like if I let's oh, if I'm trying to win tickets, I'm doing the Jeopardy wheel because I, I like the Tower of tripping, Power, bro. the Tower of Power, where tripping. the light goes up and down. You have to the stop little it in the fucking middle. the coin machine, bro. That's that exactly shot what it I was in there. Say, yeah. You, bro, I get tickets, tickets, bro. Just what? Bing, 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 like the one where you drop a coin, drop a coin in, you aim in it, and it slides up, ramps, hits the ramp. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You got to aim it for like the there's the jackpot, there's the four X, and it would just spit out. Tickets all yeah. day, bro. It was real cheap to play. Yeah, that was the shit. Real I know exactly what you're talking about. Sonic, the one where he's like, uh, it's not like an old 2D Sonic. Really? Like, like where he was like surfing the doctor down tries the, to... the San Francisco streets and shit. Oh, you know so- I about? know. I can't remember what it's that called. Was one of the best you like you you're ever. like snowboarding down hills yes. and shit. Yeah, yes. I can't remember what it's called, but I know what you're so talking about. So fun, bro. I can't. It's gonna piss of- me off that I can't think of the name of that. I want that Sonic. Man. I, I need so a much gaming I'm not news. Playing. I, I need a fucking game, game. A thousand times. If yeah, I could go back and play one game, it would be that Spider-Man game. Because like Spider-Man. that's, I feel like that's when I game the most. I don't know. I wasn't like a big like. Video games were very accessible when I was growing up, but I oh, wasn't a big like bro, video game. I'm not even gonna lie. There was a t- point where I played nothing but like Guitar Hero Rock Band. Yeah, yeah no, we all, all had that. We all I think had that. that like was we like a that. breakthrough Hold of like on. my musical uh, before career. Before you even say I'm it. so serious. I'm telling I you right now, you guys out. do not know. Like you'd have to go to YouTube and watch some crazy ass dude. I got I this got money. I got money. Let's play anyone. I'll 1v1 you. Let's Maybe play Guitar Hero. Anyone I got money. I not anyone I ever. I'm but no, I was going to say in the city. Yeah. Maybe not anyone in the city, but I will put money on him all day. Look, I'll bring it. I have a rock band guitar it's expert there's a free game Way beyond i've got it on my pc like, it's called clone hero the finger switch you download legit, clone right? hero oh, you download you shit. either put guitar hero or rock band skins on it and then you just go to this website and you download i've got every I've single first guitar thing. hero song vouch. guitar hero two three four you know every rock band game i've got every song on my computer like doing that shit to work but instead of bringing my whole computer over, bro, i bring my guitar you no. download it on your computer bro we can play any rock band song you want bro i'll put money on it what's up it's crazy what's bro. good dog no, I'm he's hype. good he's really good at that shit bro i'll play, with, I'll play with one eye. way better than i ever was like really fucking crazy that's Bro, I literally the only play Guitar the Hero until I have, like, kind of calluses on my, on my <laughs> finger. That's bro. crazy because that's, like, the... That's, like... <laughs> Guitar Hero and Call of Duty made me realize like I'm not good at video games like yeah. at all. Like Call I can't do this. One that. Uh, Guitar like, Hero gives me hope. Video game I want to I'll give like hella 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 props to was PUBG. I will give PUBG so many props to PUBG only because like right when PUBG was at its like breakthrough, bro. I remember watching Kyle play that shit right, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? I don't even be on the game like that. Like what are you over there playing? Fucking moving your whole body, kicking the table with your shin because you got shot at. Fucking, oh yeah, freaking out jumping, like yeah, just, yeah. What is that over there? And then I played PUBG. You know what I'm talking about? PUBG. Yeah, bro. PUBG. Batman. That was the never first played it. Battle but I seen Royale. It. Anything. I was like, there's no way, bro. I I remember playing so much PUBG, getting so deep into PUBG, bro, that I could like be outside. And see like a little glint or something, and be like sniper, or hear something off in the distance outside. Yeah, like in outside. real life. Like I remember in we'd real be driving life. down the road, and you'd see some kind of glint, and be like, "Oh shit!" Whoa, you think shit. you're about to get sniped. Like, oh wait, no, that's just a reflection. That's the only in game real in life. the world that has made my heart beat like I was about to have a heart attack for real, <laughs> ever. Like that, I can actually remember. Like, oh. Shit, bro, I was just like tripping for a minute. My whole hands are shaking. It's just a window on a building reflecting, and you think there's a sniper in the window. Well, oh, that, no, I'm saying like playing the game too. Like you be in a one v one. Oh yeah, on that game or oh, something. Yeah. Yeah. Your whole t- like, there's nothing like that, bro. Nothing. The last there's no circle. game I played ever in life that still has made me feel like the original PUBG 
that like that's after you get at, at the end of a game, especially like a close one, where you're even especially a win, where you're like, back us out for five minutes. My hands are shaking. I have to like, I got to smoke a cig or something Bro. real quick to like bring the nerves down because you'll literally be so afterward. You're like, oh, oh yeah. shit, sure. I got to. That was close. And the Same. sounds in that game and shit, like getting shot at and shit, were so much different than there was no like aim their footsteps. It's so different than any other game I had ever played. And it's crazy because, like, before, really before PUBG and, like, Call of Duty, World War II, me and JMO, I had known JMO for, I mean, five plus years at this point. We had probably never played a video game together once. And then Space Dad one day was like, bro, I got this old Xbox just sitting over it at Zane's house. I was like, bro, bring that shit over. And we started playing, like he said, he saw me playing PUBG, and then we eventually had two Xboxes. And then, bro, ever since then, now we're both on PC playing games together and shit. It's crazy. We was, like, and I was not gamer this. friends at all. When like, I bought a PC, PC, I have not looked back since. Oh, yeah. And I never will. All ever. you console peasants. Dude, I'm you lowly, the, one of the best purchases you can get for any kind of video game or any, dude. Just to be able to sit on your fucking Discord is a, a, a pledge, okay? There's something beautiful about having multiple models. You have your game up on this screen. Then this PC. screen, you've got your friend stream, like they're playing the game, but you can see their screen too because they're streaming it. So like, I don't have to be like, where is he? I can just look. There's oh, there he so is. Much. Like, There's a lot because I was definitely on my Xbox. And I'm like, I got Xbox One. I got a good one. I got a good Xbox One. I ain't never getting off this bitch. Xbox has been my shit. Xbox all the way. Besides the PlayStation 3 because I could use the internet online for free. So... Was like, nah, PC ain't gonna cut it for me, dog. That looks like too damn much. It looks like too much, too bulky, too big, whatever. Fuck, no. Nope. Fuck everything about PC. I was like, fuck it. All the boys done got a damn PC. I'm gonna go get one. Same night, went and got one. I ain't not literally played on a console since that day. It was because of them. And I'm telling you, best decision I ever made, ever. Now, don't let it stop you from expanding the studio. Love, you know what I'm saying? Keep, keep buying studio equipment. Don't, don't you worry Probably about You can literally right have now. just like a little PC <laughs> sitting right up there, though. That would be so dope. It would be crazy. So far. I'll just bring over the white one. You could just sit it here at least. Hey, you got to own it. There you go. Fucking uh, ta-da. And then, and then that's like, you know what I mean? First one's free type shit. Then when you're like, hey, I need the PC back, he's going to be itching. He's going to be like, oh, I got to get one now. Oh, yeah. You play Apex on there one little time tease. or something. Yeah, yeah, what? A little oh, a little you play tease, Apex yeah. on there or something one time, bro. You'd be like, what the fuck? I'm keeping what this. What the fuck, baby? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, baby? A lot of people what your palette? Like, hmm. yeah, crazy racism. Five what seconds what palette, of crazy hmm. racism. The funniest shit I ever hear about, like, That's switching the PC is like, I'm not switching to mouse and keyboard. Like, you ain't got to. You can hook up anything to a PC and play on it. Yeah, they make the craziest controllers ever. Every controller, a controller on, that slide you slide PC. your hand into. I want to play the uh, plane simulator or the helicopter. What you could get a joystick? joystick. You talking, yeah. talking about Microsoft Flight Simulator? Yeah, I got that. Yeah, shit my dude Dom, shit. my dude Dom's got all that shit. He's got a fucking uh, a joystick to play the, the flying the games. He's wheel. got steering wheels. He's that, got yeah, fucking. Yeah. He's a Flight big piece. Of, is he's bro. got full but VR shells. We tried it before. We flew over our own houses. We found it goes off of real GPS. Google Earth map data. Yep. So really? when you're yep. playing the game, you're flying over. Re- I mean, it's not real time. Like you're not. I'm not going to go outside and yeah. wave and you'll see me. What but it's actual whatever map. you would see on Google Maps when you look at the real view. That's, that's what, what you're, you're seeing in the game. Ah. So like you can look it, bro. It's so crazy. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And okay. So let's say you're flying. And you see another plane flying like you're not supposed to, obviously you're not you wouldn't be that close to a plane in real life. Let's say you're just flying around and you pass a plane. That plane currently is in that general area Probably right now in, in real life. Like it it goes off of the air traffic tower data. So like it knows this flight is taking off from this airport to this airport at this time. And it does that in the game too. It, like it bro, it's so crazy. For, crazy. I mean it's it's not like a fun game to play because you're just literally it is flying a plane, but it's speaking of not fun games. It's dope bro. for thirty minutes. You know what I mean? You're like, hey, that's my house. All right, I'm don't watch off a motherfucker here. try to beat Elden Ring, bro. If you really don't know what Elden Ring is, that shit is crazy. It is wild. I mean, arguably the hardest AAA video game series ever developed. One of the hardest games I ever tried to play oh, yeah. ever. When it comes to like, I cannot beat this shit. 
I will never beat this shit ever. That don't sound fun. Like, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's not, not, but not that's fun. what makes it every time you beat a boss, the feeling you get when you finally beat that boss after fucking three hours of just going at it, going at it. I mean, three hours is like if you're lucky. You know what I mean? Because the whole point of the game is meant to be like all the bosses are super overpowered and you're just this weak dude. So like, and they shove that down your throat. Like they, it is not yeah, easy ass. to see anybody yeah. break no, controllers crazy. and punch your monitor. <laughs> It'll bring out the worst in you for sure. You need to get Red Dead, dude. I want to get Red Dead. I want to Red, get Red Dead. Dead. I see, that's what Red that's Dead. the. I still love Red Dead. Is, I, I love open the first world one concept and then play the games, bro. One. No, I love the open first world one concept only came games. Came out on 360. Bro. GTA yeah, 5 and Red Dead. On, on the one. Oh, my mic's not even by my. I don't think you played on the Xbox One. Okay. Damn. That's why we all got to get headphones. Is uh two like a to- totally different story? Or is it just carried on? Bro, two, Red Dead Redemption I, Two is so far, bro. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think. It. I don't think it's a direct continuation of the, the first story. story. I don't think it is. Yeah, you definitely don't have to game. play the I'm first a big one like know. playing games for story. Bro, like, you I can just get it. All the Call of Duties for the, the for the campaigns. Line. Yes, I'm the Never same. Never really one. played multiplayer at all. I'm I'm the same no, way. Like, Red Dead Two, bro. I fucking went hard on multiplayer. For Red sure. Dead's different, bro, because we can all download it and we can play the story lo- storyline yeah, online right together, together, bro. Well, it's a separate I mean, like line. Like we do, it's, like it's, we do Ghost Recon. I'm, I'm, I'm like pretty sure like Red we do Dead Ghost online. Recon, bro. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just like so it is on a, a GTA Online. For, like, you're not playing the GTA 5 story, you're playing the GTA Online story. I think it's the same thing with Red Dead. I don't think you play through the main story No, you together. do. I swear to God on my life, I've played it before. I'm pretty sure. If I'm mistaken, I'm tripping, tripping. I right might now. be wrong. I'm not positive. I was just. What I are you talking was, about? Like game one rolls over into game two? No, I like. No, I I'm think, saying I, I think in GTA Red Dead or, Two, you can we can all get online and play the actual story, story together. Dead, together. See, like, 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 the cutscenes automatically link up and yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. See, I thought yeah. it was. Yeah. I thought when you played together, we it play was a separate mission. story. I thought Red Dead Online was a totally different thing. If it if it did, then it's the most elaborate. Bullshit online story of all time because okay. it's fire, bro. It's like a full campaign. Bro. Okay, Bet. Red like, Dead too. You meet side characters. I, have, oh, and I read it being online at the same time, but yeah, your, I'm talking about story Bruce. that you're doing right then and there is different than the next guy. Yeah, because like there's Red Dead Redemption two, yeah. which is the single player game, mm-hmm. and then there's Red Dead Online, online where they would which, have to be. Yes, which I think I thought I could be wrong. Yeah, like I've never played it, but I thought it was a whole different campaign. Like it, you don't play through the main game together. Dude, you you got it. We campaign. should try to get. I know I've got a. I might have to just reset my whole PC because I've had Red Dead Redemption 2 for years. He has the fucking I started game. playing it at one point. I uninstalled it for some reason. Next time I installed it, whenever I launch the game, it launches the, the Rockstar launcher and it just gets stuck in this infinite loop. Like the game it will open. It's like, you know, like when something's Uninstall loading, it does it, the circle. It, I've it done that. So really? I've done, stuck. but I've been on YouTube hmm. for hours, gone through my files, like, Cause it's not, you know, like that's the only problem with PC versus having a console. As a console, it's very easy to like you just you don't want this game anymore. You delete that game. You don't have to go through the files and look for stragglers. But with a PC, you got like you already know you got to go through your fucking program files, your C drive, and find all the extra shit. I've done all that, and still it just will not. I don't know. I might just have to restart my whole PC. It's yeah. just such a process. It I'm is down a process. to get it for sure. Yeah, yeah I've just been rambling. This is a great yeah, podcast hunt. I'm going to go, when I go home tonight, I'm going to delete some shit and start downloading Red Dead 2 because this just makes me, it's the closest Red thing Dead to like. Red Dead 2, does it come with online or do you have to buy it separate? Think about it. I don't even think you have to buy Red Dead 2 to play Red Dead Online. Think right? about it from my, age Red and my Dead perspective. Online free? GTA 5 is the greatest game of all time. If you ask anybody my age, it's mm-hmm. you cannot oh, beat oh, it, yeah, right? Of course. Okay. GTA right? 6 on the that way. But that's the so, closest thing Minecraft. anybody my age has had to GTA 6 ever is Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah. And it, and it really it's hold it up to the hype at that GTA. time. At that time when it came out, everyone was like, this game's going to suck and it's going to be fuck it. We're stuck with GTA 5 forever. Yeah, We're still stuck with GTA, GTA 5. 5, right? Yeah. yeah like like, like six, after. seven years oh, after. Wow. God, yeah, GTA, GTA 5 has been GTA, out that long? GTA 5 has been out for like 15 thir- years. No, like 13. Thir- four, like 13, 13 14, 14 years. You're aging. You're getting old. Maybe we got one more fucking year. Maybe he was born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. The fucking hey. the game. So they pushed it back a whole year. Yeah, I'm So we don't get GTA it this 6. year, unfortunately. Maybe he was born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybelline. 
I'm they can't lying. take him out the game. That shit would leave a I'm vacancy. buying that game as soon as it's able to pre order. Old. Are you guys? <laughs> you guys? You guys? GTA that's what I'm 6. Doing. I'm pre I think it. everybody's buying it. it so I don't oh, yeah. have to, and I can come over to your house and I can play it for a weekend and just say, fuck it. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Now you're thinking. Yeah, and then we can play it. Charge you fucking $50 to play every story. 50 bucks. No, I have to play the campaign through, so if I have to buy it and buy a whole new yes. fucking console and I'm, 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 I'm in the fucking uh, campaign. Wait, you don't have a... Whose Xbox was you playing on? I have an Xbox, but I'm saying... Oh, it's not going to I have an old the, Xbox yeah, one, Xbox. bro. We'll have to get the new one. See, I'm, not, I'm, I'm on PC, so I didn't even we're, No, we're going to have to get a PC to play GTA 6. It's going to be such a huge and, like, so high-quality game that we're not even going to be able to experience it to its fullest unless we're on a PC for that shit, bro. Or, well, I mean, I don't know. In Xbox, in Xbox the new gen. Series X, like, the new, the best one yeah. probably runs, as, if not a little, as well, maybe even a little better than... I mean, probably not your PC. You've got a, a 20-something in there now, right? In the white yeah. run of twenty seven. Like if you if you had an Xbox Series X, it would probably run better than my PC does because I've got you know, like a mid range PC. Yeah. Like I don't know how well that's mine's a maybe. Do. That's a good maybe though because Xboxes do be fucking up. Bro. Yeah, it's it, it's I was, probably. I was stuck I'm just saying. Xbox, I think with them right? doing 16, it all on under for it, it, any nerds that are me, watching. Dog. GTA 6 is going to be like the hugest video game map ever made, oh, yeah. bro. And the, it's going to have huge, the huge, bro. Be, the graphics, the graphics bro, the are going to be, be AI. See all the people talking about they're bringing back uh, Blackout and Black Ops. Talking about they're going to re, they're going to retry Blackout. What is Blackout? Yeah, Black, the greatest fucking, in my opinion, everybody. Say you lie. Everyone can fuck off. It was just people talking on Twitter and shit. It better, like, I mean, probably. In fine. my opinion, one of the greatest, if not the sole greatest Battle Royale, Battle Royale that ever came out. I was, love Did you have Black Ops 4? Call Black of Duty Black Ops 4. Black no, but let it. me ask you this. What's your favorite Call of Duty? Go, Ooh. Come back into me. Come back to me. My favorite Call of Duty. Yeah. Can I give you top three just so I don't have to narrow it down to a single one? Can we do it no, that way? I'm going to be honest no. with you, bro. I, I did, didn't two. get into Call of Duty for a while. Really? Swear. I'm not I played into Call it of now. Duty Big Red 1 on the GameCube. Fire. Didn't hear the name Call of Duty for all Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. Didn't hear about it. And then I started playing... He didn't even the mention World War, War II. II. Ah, World War II. Hey. Didn't even play none of those. Royal Went back War. and played. No, them. not like, World at War. World, World War, War II, II. The one that came out before. Yeah. before. It was like five, six years ago. Because I just, like that. that whole time, I just I didn't play the game. Like, didn't have a game. A long time the one that came out right after Infinite Warfare. It was the one that went from, they had a couple so games. So, look, if you're asking me my shit, favorite. the first boots on the ground, Call of Duty. My That's favorite shit favorite. like yeah, that, that ever one. would be the one I got into real heavy, which was back in the day was Modern Warfare. One, like, the first Modern, Modern Warfare, Warfare yeah. game. That shit. Was, that was had me hooked, and then Modern Warfare 2 had me hooked. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. So, if we're going to say, I'm not saying this is the best. The best has got to be probably Black Ops 2, maybe Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, one of those. But my favorite, everyone hates this opinion, and they can all fucking suck a rock. I'm going to say Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, That's what I was going to say for a oh, joke as well as coming oh, back to joke. Oh, I thought you were going to agree with No, but I love Call of Duty Ghosts. That's my number two. Hated it. Oh, That's my number two. It. Trash. It. What is your fucking garbage? Is the campaign you can, of Call of Duty Ghosts is, think, is you garbage. You can Call of Duty Ghosts for Marksman Rifle. Campaign, Call of Duty campaign, Ghost is I don't garbage. think I don't. The campaign of Call of Duty Ghosts is the best Call of Duty campaign that ever came out. Hold on. Whoa. And the only one that's whoa, up for question whoa, is my whoa, favorite dude, Call of Duty ones. Two, Black Ops Two. Okay, the newer ones. Have but you played Cold I'm War talking campaign? newer stories are crazy. Actually, yeah, the, the, new, war campaign? Like the newer Fine. Modern Warfare. No, reboots. the Cold War shit dude, is crazy. Yeah, okay, are great. okay, whatever. Those but the Ghost classics. campaign is yeah. crazy in Very classics. Good. Crazy campaign when you can grapple down the building and like you're. And see now, I'm pretty much caught up now in the Call of Duty world. Like I play. What's your favorite? What's your favorite? Black Ops. Black Ops. Black Ops. The Black original Ops. Black Ops. Yes. My number one when favorite they came is out with Black Ops. I shit a break, bro. The campaign the, of Black Ops. I remember Ops. Black now, Ops being pretty fucking big. How when you oh, originally you, from bro. the main screen, you're already like you're bro, like, the like Easter that. egg where you then could, you could break, break out and, and go to yes. the bro, like the yes that I mean and then whenever you played zombies, the guy would turn into a zombie and. Yeah, banging on the window. Treyarch has always Bro, been Bro, and the creepy, the eerie music, oh, I will the digital say that shit. Right now, even that though my shit's Modern so Warfare. good, bro. Modern Warfare has gone to shit, boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Treyarch my favorite's Modern Warfare 3. Treyarch is the ghost. It's a great one. It's a great one. 
Treyarch did fucking blackout, right? Yep, there wasn't yep. no massive help on no. it. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, most of their games I'm are saying, like, a who collab helped? effort. Who helped? Them? I mean, I'm sure Raven and Slet, like, I'm sure they Whoever all. Whoever the fuck made Blackout, boy? But, you notice how that? Uh, no, that was that was Treyarch. Battle mainly, Royale just ran so smooth. Oh yeah, and it was Flawless. pushing the limits of the game. It like was, it was. I've heard so many interviews saying it's like a miracle that they even got that thing to run with how big it was for the hardware they were working with. But if they bring out Blackout Two, bro, I might, I might come. I mean, I might. Wow. I might wow. come. They, yeah. They'll keep all the same back. shit from I'm the standing one, on it. too. Like, fix it a little bit, but I'm sure, like, the... Standing uh, on my cum, dude. <laughs> stand no, but uh, stand this, stand on this is album. making me really want to go get Red Dead. <laughs> my new EP <laughs> coming out soon bro, called Standing on My Cum. Thieves, bro. I did Man. download Sea of Thieves. You ain't even been on the Xbox cool. since I Yeah, I was going to, but... That's the second time I downloaded a video game and then you never touched your Xbox. Oh, Yeah, you fell asleep. You fucking... What? Dude, it is cool. Download and see these. It's cool, but uh, you gonna see buy it for me, dog? What? You gonna it buy gets see these? Hard and boring yeah, really fast. Just give it to me. All right, I got you. It gets boring. It's gonna nah, really I'll fast. Get like soon. it's fun at first. Like oh yeah, let's do this pirate ship, and then you're just fucking. I feel oh like my it's. God. I feel. I see. I haven't. I think it goes chained together. It's exciting, now, together and then hilarious. it's that kind of low. But then I think you have to probably. I haven't got past it. But I think you probably have to keep playing. Then you start getting more loot. Get more loot. Now you're like a badass pirate, better than yeah, everybody else. Yeah, you gotta else. get your that's, powers and shit up. That's probably when it starts to get real fun. When you're out there bullying other people, starting fights, and you're not losing every time. You know yeah, what I mean? bro. Like, like when it comes I would to shooting out the to, cannons, get, but bro, that bro, shit you, Terrifies me, bro. When that water starts bro, turning red, I know how to shoot monsters. out of the cannons, bro. That's like one of the hardest fucking. Things, I'm telling you bro. right now, the first time we I fall out of the boat, I, I'm gonna start screaming. Ride. I don't, I don't handle crew. water well. We gotta put a, whole, a crew together. It's a whole, bro. You really do. I'm you down, guys bro. have to play like as a for real. Like I need to just get game pass. I, so I, I thought play it was it on just there. some bullshit game, right? You just look for like the treasure and like. There's a taco it's like has to scrub way poop different, dick. bro. You really got to you really got to like use dick. your brain. You got to look Trucker, for clues. up that meat. Trucker has a small you poop dick. Clues, but dude, no, we got ran huh? up on Did by you say a whole, he got poop dick? <laughs> a whole crew. <laughs> These guys pulled up on us on a dude. ship, bro, and destroyed our ship. I mean, like when you we'll try right to back. aim out of the cannon, the the waves he is just insane. <laughs> <laughs> he sued you. It's like defamation of character. I keep just thinking about I'm not listening to Trey at all. No, we do got to build what our crew. So like the wave. See I heard. The, I heard you say wave and crew. It's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. <laughs> Listen, all right, we moved no, on. But he's joke. right though. We have to. I was, we I if said we're Chuck gonna has do a that. Poop dick, and we all started laughing. It's gone. If, if we're gonna do that, we have to all fucking do it as a crew, and then we have to download Red Dead Redemption Two. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Yo, you heard that too, right? We did it, we did it. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Taco is in a midlife crisis, and I want to talk. Bro, about I've been it, in a midlife crisis for ten years now, dog. <laughs> That's crazy, <laughs> Talk. And if I'm in a midlife crisis at thirty, does that mean I'm only going to live to be sixty? With modern technology, he's still eating that Los Palos Hermanos. <laughs> Lost That's boys. where I get my meth. <laughs> Savage, bro. That's how he's still alive. He's <laughs> he's man. He's out like, here give him his flowers while he's still here. If you do enough of it, it just realigns your chakras, it's and you like just you live uh, longer. What's it called? That That's true. This is not. This is not medical advice That's, to be taken seriously. This is a comedy podcast. Disclaimer: It's a comedy podcast. Don't take that as legal advice. You're. A, it's like you're a soup addicted to that fucking temp <laughs> Taco looks like the method. Your temp V. <laughs> The Jesus. uh, the Compound Bucky's logo. Is what it is. He looks like the Bucky's logo. <laughs> kind of look like the Bucky's logo. You ever been to Bucky's? Yeah, yeah it's one time. That's like their food is. It's like a hundred fucking gas pumps. You it's look insane. like a Bucky's. <laughs> Way more than a hundred. <laughs> it's crazy. crazy. It's amazing. Like, it's like a Walmart. Crazy, God, bro. It's the Walmarts it's of gas crazy. stations. That's the best way. And it's I heard crazy, that they were putting one bro. not too far away from here. It's crazy. It looked like a like an hour or two away. Putting the Bucky's uh, an hour or two away. You're like the I whitest Dominican I've ever seen in my life. Well, yeah. You look like a tattooed Ken doll. <laughs> I think the closest one's like four or five hours from <laughs> here right now. <laughs> www.mymythbaby.com. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> 
You look like Hank Williams Jr. right now. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the Walmart yodeling kid after the fame. You look like you ate Julio Jake and took on his form. <laughs> you look like you look like the real Macaulay Culkin. Oh my God. <laughs> That's actually so funny. I feel like I kind of do. I need a sing after that guy. Better than anyone about Kyle. He looks like Dick York. All right, <laughs> bro. Did you see? I put the fuck Lieutenant in. Dan for sure. Yeah, no, really, Dick Lieutenant York. As soon, as soon as no, Dick York, like actually, might be. It's like no, that's might, the closest. He's from Indiana too. It might be your fucking like, especially. No, he's not. Yeah, yes. he's, he's from fucking. He's from fucking uh, Fort Wayne, Northway. All my life, he's from Fort Wayne, bro. Look it up. I moved here from Michigan to Angola, Indiana, which is north of Fort Wayne. Look at this. Linda. <laughs> There's something your mom's Look, not telling you. You got some September 4th, 1928 in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that that does not. That's not a coincidence. There's no way. Like that's like. Hey, all right, Yo, you know this is your grandpa. Do me, do me a favor. Go to go to maps, like Google Maps or Apple Maps, whatever. It looks like find find out how long it would take to drive from Angola, A N G O L A, Indiana, to Fort Wayne. See how far away that is, Mom. Bro, like he. Really I'm sniffing. I'm sniffing out your your. Your There's sins no way right he's now. From Indiana. That's he's from Fort Wayne, Indiana. I just saw it with my own I'm two fingers. You. I'm telling you. All right, you. and you said how long it takes to get from Angola, Angola to Fort Wayne? Oh, forty-five minutes. No, it's probably an hour and a half. Angola from yeah, some little. No, from house. here it's only two and a two. Oh uh, yeah, no, it's an hour then. Hour fifteen, bro. Was my mom sneaking off and getting some... How, hang on. It's 45 minutes. 45? <laughs> bro, bro. He said your he was parents were he, he was born when? What year? 28. 28? I was born 92, so that means he would have been... He would have been... When I was born, how old would he have been? I been... <laughs> Probably in his 70s, old enough to still be making spermies. Mom, um, oh, good. something about your family tie, though. Like, might not been a bit. It might not have been. Bit. Not if he was a successful been, actor and your mom was yeah, just the. That, bro, I was going to say, like, what if. Came across him in a bar and he happened. she happened to be in Fort know. Wayne. Bro, if Taco's mom, I'm so sorry about this podcast, but we think we just figured some shit out, bro. Now, pull up a picture of your actual father. Well, okay, I just, uh, dude, I, I just, dude, I did kind of just realize I'm an idiot because show him the picture I want you to show. Just because I lived in Angola, I was already alive. Then, show so them the picture of your dad. There, I was born in Michigan. Please. So, oh yeah, that show thing, them the picture, picture of your dad that I, I want you it. to show them. I don't know. Where I it's want at. you to it's show so them. Far back in my pictures, please. And I don't even think it's in this phone anymore. What's your mom's name? Starts with a Z. Me, Where he's me, at. The place he's at. Let me see if I have him on Facebook. Hold up. Dude, because look. This Ignore is, my disgusting phone. Look, his wife's name is Joan Alt, but this says... Joan Alt Bell? <laughs> Joan Alt. Bell. No. Listen. Bell. But... And this says right I'm here, before oh, before he not, died, he was in love not. with another woman named Elizabeth no, Montgomery. No, he's red hair. He's red hair. No way. No. Well, that's not your no father, way. bro. There's no way. No way. None. Bro. No, no way. way. But then, the, look at, then look at Dick York. Then look at Dick York. Talk a there's, no, there's nothing. There's what? <laughs> and then look at Dick York. Yo. That's I don't Hang on, let's look at his no way. dad to me, bro. There's no way. That's fucking that him. looks like fucking This is more what I remember him looking like, but that's not that looks like you. That looks like your dad. <laughs> he looks like he could be your dad. Tell me that that ain't J Mo's dad. Come on now. Try me tell me that's not J Mo's dad. <laughs> Isn't that your father? That's my, that's my father. That's J Mo's dad, bro. Yeah, Y'all you really lucked out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey, thanks for fucking clowning on my invisible dad. <laughs> this is his son. This is his other son. Your dad's Does this, too. Bitch. Bro, look at his <laughs> other son and it tell is. me you don't see resemblance <laughs> in the fucking structure. Bro, look. This is his other son, Christopher <laughs> York. Trade sin. Trade sin. Tell me that's not Taco's oh, brother, bro. Wait a second. 
Does that look like it could be a sibling to Taco? Cousin Matthew? No, that's Dick York's son. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's Dick York's son. That looks AI as fuck. Where'd you just AI? That's that? Dick York's son, Christopher York, bro. All right, whatever you say, bro. That's my bro, dog. Whatever you that's say, That's my bro. brody. That's my wody. That's my wody. That's my wody. That's my wody. Yeah, those I mean, candles smell the real long, The long, slender neck. Magnificent. Keep getting a whiff of it. Kind of looks like Shane. Bro, I'm tell me this Gillis. ain't your boy. No, that's Shane. Your boy KB, you know exactly bro. What I'm, no, that's Shane. You yeah. know exactly what I'm saying. That looks like <laughs> old Shane. And uh, little Shane. At the same time, it looks like the little dude off fucking Die Antwords crew. You know what's insane, though? That It if, looks like the dude from uh, Ozark. What's his name that everyone says I look like? He for sure fucked Ozark? somebody Wayland. in your family before you were alive. Wayland. No, Is that no. What's his name? Wyatt. 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 That looks like Wyatt. Oh, oh my God. God. I get that a lot. That I Wyatt, love, especially with the Ozark. hair. I thought it was Wayland. Let me tell you this, though. Wyatt. And he definitely Harry. fucked someone in your hey, family before you were alive. Fire. My mother. Ozark. Ozark. <laughs> I've been I've been asking her about this for over a decade now, almost two decades. Like, you sure you didn't just sleep with blushed. Dick York? And she's like, Kyle, I James Bell, I did not sleep with Dick York. What's the most Canadian shit your family does? I don't know. I mean, they, like stemmed from down. They that make way. Do they kill deer and make jerky. That's they pretty. It seems women. As in all my female cousins are all more are all manly than I. Am. <laughs> you sure got trapped. They're all, in they're the all like so. Look, they're all they're not rednecks. You got trapped. They're not rednecks, in as in like southern rednecks. They're like northern rednecks. You know what I mean? They're from Michigan. They all live out in the country. Shit, I have a whole. It's all in the bottom of this. There's no Mountain Dew left in this. But feel how heavy that is, dude. You got trapped I told you in exactly Indy, bro. What was happen. From having a fucking that's all fucking feel drink that. it right now. Tra- all no, of it. it's all fuel, not, I have dude. to cut it open. Feel that. Feel how heavy that bitch is. Bro, drink it. It's there. There's nothing to drink. It's fucking maple syrup in drink there, it. dog. Syrup. <laughs> I'm gonna cut up in the cut open the can. Sipping on some scissors. Uh, what are the accents that they have? Oh, it's definitely Yarr. close to the the Minnesota. They almost have a little bit of the Yarr. the old the old don't, you walk into? don't you know. Don't you know we it's, are? It's not that bad. I'm definitely <laughs> don't fucking bro. I'll come across this. Mo- I'll dump fruity loop wax yeah. on you, dude. All right, come on. Let's accents around the table. Let's okay. I'm gonna all give right. Jamo one. Jamo, you give Taco one. Taco, you give product one. Product, give me one. All right, ready? Uh, I'm not ready. Jamo, do you give me uh, product's accent. I'll do his too. Irish. You what? What did you say? I said you don't. I flipped do it. into two sheep too. and <laughs> sheep and went down and <laughs> sheep <laughs> ripping. <laughs> The sheep of colors. <laughs> and I head on down to the pub and drink a pint beneath the Irish moon. <laughs> he can do it real good. Drink a pint beneath Dude, the Irish moon. Dude, you gotta moon. tell him to do the Scottish That's chick horrible. from that fucking uh, baby reindeer. <laughs> from baby no. reindeer. It's my baby reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a bit of banter. It's just a bit of banter. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta like you're talking to Piers bro, Morgan. Bro, she's, in the, court, she's in the courthouse the crying. <laughs> no, baby reindeer. That's my baby reindeer. Oh my god. Oh, bro. <laughs> what? That's a bit of what? Just a bit of banter. <laughs> no. That's what she's talking to Piers Morgan. He's like, so you didn't send her. So you didn't send him 100,000 emails. No, it was just a bit of banter. <laughs> Bro, when you, but you realize that if if, if if we were to look into your records, if we were to look into your records, we could see we could see how many of those text messages and emails could be sent that were sent. Correct? No, it's just a bit of banter. <laughs> what else does he say? I don't know. I just that's my one thing I like saying. <laughs> Could you do anything? And else? I'm just really, I can't even take credit for that. I'm just doing an impression of famous no. comedian Will Sasso doing an impression Side note. of Baby Rainy. Side note on this me and Kyle just happened to be watching a boxing match one day, and it was Tyson Fury oh. on the fucking, you know, how like so right funny. before. Right before they like uh, show like the boxing ring and it's live and the fucking shit, it's they like always the video do like package. a video package before <laughs> of them like and he's sitting on the stool sweating and he's it's like, like videos of them training, cut got up, goosebumps with, like, on me skin, goosebumps. <laughs> I've got goosebumps on my skin. Goosebumps on We can find that clip later, bro. We got to start looking up these clips and we got to like drop the clip in afterward for the podcast so they. What's that one of the dude? He's talking. 
He's but talking. Oh, the one of the dude that's talking? No, it's this kid. <laughs> uh, no, it's the kid that's talking outside. Oh, fuck, I can't remember. Wow. It's, it's hilarious. They're like outside in a group. This oh, kid. the mama, do you squirt? <laughs> <laughs> Not that one, no. Not that video? Sorry. No. It was about, I thought it was something about like Conor McGregor or something. I, I don't fucking know. My brain is made out of fucking nacho cheese, bro. I'll I can't Have get you guys ever find it? I'll put it at the end of this video. Football player in the world. <laughs> I don't know why people. Why are you laughing for? What, Chris, why are you laughing for? Why are you laughing for? I'm being serious. I'm being. And he's yeah, like, yeah. And they're like, okay, I need to get off my patio. And he's like, worst mistake ever. Yeah. Pizza fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. <laughs> <laughs> and then he looks right, turns around to people. They're like. What happened? Stole, and he's like, pizza fucking sucks. They kicked, kicked me out. out. Worst fucking pizza review ever. That's a fucking review. Dude, they need <laughs> to have him on the Kill Tony panel. Oh, oh my, my god! Why is this bro. not a thing? Dude, that what, would be... Because he would talk Dave, more than Tony. Dave Portnoy. Dave, bro, he would that, talk way more than Tony. No, he would I think be, he would be a perfect He would be so yes. funny, bro. Yeah, he is one of the funniest people of all time. I just seen an old pizza episode trash. with... Uh, it was William Montgomery's mom and dad on there. His dad is fucking hilarious. His mom and dad are the two people Ma on the panel. Mom and dad came out. On yeah, the panel. pops is fucking Have roasting you seen the people. One with, uh, and it's the best dad jokes you've ever heard because he's like in his sixties, probably early seventies, but just roasted all these comics up there in the most old, funny grandpa way you could imagine. Right? It's, it's so good. So like, like, like you, oh, like taco. Oh. About to spit out your dentures, but <laughs> that'd be crazy if his ditchy just flew across the room. Oh my god! Now imagine if we got that invisible. Just in. a tooth flew out though, and then I'd look kind of like you. <laughs> Can't see uh, yeah, that side of the Dude. podcast. He's like, we can make it match. What's up, tooth? <laughs> you know what took out my tooth though? The softest piece of bread you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Raisin cane stuff. Is that what you heard? Just hurt. I was popped right out. I was so pissed off because I had to, I was driving. Was it I wobbly? Had the toast in my. I don't yeah, know what it had. You think it had already been cracked and it just was like. Well, that these this tooth and that tooth had already been cracked before and it had a filling in there, but it was a small filling, but it was from a long time ago, so it might have just got weak, weak and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a, a little bit of a bit, right? Or is this kind of stupid? Like how a filling is kind of like a cream pie for a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> No. That you just that you let dry. You, the, it's the it, you, it's, the, you, it's the one you don't clean like up. Animation of the filled your. That's the next sausage party. The fucking <laughs> the Dennis your, utensils. Filled, Raising canes. Party was a crazy movie. <laughs> sausage party was an insane. Raising movie. canes is the name of this new movie. I've been I've been writing the script for. It's funnily enough starring Coach Kane, but we're CGIing him into a baby, and it, then it's like a, a blind side kind of movie where you rescue him, and then you're raising Kane. <laughs> You put him in a baby box. You're at a teaching fire him. Department. Look, but it's like a, it's almost like a like a paradox time travel kind of movie. You're teaching him since you know how to engineer. You're teaching him how to engineer and make a studio, so then he can own his studio and take you under his wing, and then you can learn how to become an engineer, <laughs> and then that way you're able to teach Baby Kane how to. Be, you see what I'm saying? And then it's just for chicken or the egg, chicken or the egg. What can does first? that does that drop after your depiction of? Uh, Ebenezer well, Scrooge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chad Joe, choose your next If it was a movie say? title just My called Baby Kane. Your depiction of... It's Raising Kane. <laughs> We're raising him. Uh, <laughs> baby Kane would be crazy. It makes me think of snow on the bluff. Baby Kane. <laughs> wow. Cocaine drugs. Cocaine speedboats. Cocaine fucking rocks. Don't ever let oh. anyone tell you otherwise. Okay. Oh. And that's I a wrap. Is this called the Sugar Coat Podcast? I didn't think so. We'll be right back. It's called the Sugar We're keep it right here. Podcast. We're out of here. No, that's fucking uh, crazy. The fact that Dave Portnoy hasn't been on Kill Tony. Maybe they beef. What? You said maybe they beef? What if they beef? What They're if that's like a beef. secret no. beef? Kill Tony Hinchcliffe. What if Tony Hinchcliffe Tony reminds me of a New Yorker, I feel like. Tony Hinchcliffe secretly makes pizzas. Tony Hinchcliffe, it Portnoy. reminds me of a guy that, like, don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, he don't just. Don't give a fuck ass New York. Like, I just won't fuck with you and not fuck with you ever. Never think of you ever again. Dave Portnoy gave 
Tony Hinchcliffe a bad review on his secret pizza chain, and now he's not allowed on his, his show. Secret pizza chain. Yeah, Tony Hinchcliffe is secretly. He's a, been doing Chicago deep. He's secretly. A, he's a Tony Hinchcliffe is a deeply, deeply closeted pizza maker, and <laughs> Dave Fortnoy gave him a bad review, so he's not allowed on the show. You know how many fucking pizza places you heard there it here are first. in New York? Taco's Alzheimer's is kicking the fuck yeah, up right now. He, every time, every, literally every time I think about his, we every beat, time I think about Mac. his Alzheimer's, I think of the, move, the fr- very first Planet of the Apes. Come where on. the old man in the house was getting Alzheimer's or whatever. And it's like Kyle <laughs> walking through there just like, ooh, I live here. Like, <laughs> ooh, ah, I live here. We're good. <laughs> and then forgetting an hour later, just like, ah, fuck, I do live here. Yeah. I mean, my Alzheimer's yeah. are getting pretty bad. You guys could kick me out under pretense that I was a squatter. <laughs> And I would believe you. <laughs> you just made truck jump so high. That might be the funniest thing that's happened all day. Yeah. He almost fell out of the chair. Yeah, and it's on just, camera, too. That's the best part. I almost just jumped through the window. That's going to be on the podcast. Yeah. I'm going to bleep and it. And right I did the <laughs> like, No, nah, there no, was you're not a goddamn in the back room at this moment. What's up? Ooh. Nope. Mom chopped the We left. might, but you got to come, you gotta come be on the moment. podcast to find out. <laughs> yeah, nah, Mama Duke, she done chopped the cord. Chopped the cord. That's all right. Oh, she did. <laughs> she, she cut it. She cut it. Saw an accident. Like she cut was it. using the head clippers and it got in the way. It. Snipped it right in half. So fuck that shit. I guess that's better. Old damn cord in order reference. This damn cat's out. Hey, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> my last 10 seconds oh on this podcast sucks. Wow, this man, this man, this man jumped. He scared me. We you talked about a whole lot of kidding. fucking shit, dude. I will say that was episode 19 on the 141 podcast. Yeah, how long yes, sir. A, a long time. Time to switch to the Patreon. 